Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do another um, installation in our series of Tinkercad workflows. And specifically, I wanted to share a situation I've had recently printing some parts I've designed in Tinkercad. And it's actually this part right here. So I want to take a look at it um, because one of the things I've had an issue with is uh, I've been attempting to print this for the past two days and it starts printing out okay but then becomes garbage very quickly and, and I haven't been able to quite figure out what the problem was and then all of a sudden it dawned on me so I think this is sort of an important part to share is the workflow um, so again it's taken me a couple days to figure this out and it's rather embarrassing but I think it's a good learning lesson so if we enter into this model if you will and basically these are shims for um, a camera slider project that I'm building up well basically any linear motion project that that uses the uh, is 608ZZ uh, bearing, you know, basically a standard skate bearing. And when we look at this, you know, what I did is, is you know, this is a top shim, and, the, you know, this is a top shim, and this is a bottom shim uh, for the bearing, and the bearing sits in the middle. And not, nothing too complicated, and basically I created two, and I just simply copied them and doubled them, and so when I print these out, I would get four sets right it, it seems all very simple and the printer actually goes goes ahead and does a nice job of starting but then uh, for some reason about halfway through what happens is they just sort of all get knocked around and, and I come back about an hour later and find a stringy mess and it's been very frustrating I've actually tried it on a number of printers and I get the same results. So I thought it was was the printer, and I thought maybe you know because of the small size of the uh, the uh, uh, you know objects is was the problem. And I've tried different slicers and invested a lot of time and energy. Um, and then out of desperation, I decided yesterday to use a raft to print these. And thinking, okay, maybe the parts are just simply too small or too thin. Um, and then I noticed something strange in, in the raft, which got me looking at these. And one of the things that I do want to kind of point out here, and I'm not sure if you can see it, um, is the smaller ones have a shadow, the, the, the top bearing parts. You notice this, this down here, this has a shadow. You notice that these don't have a shadow. And it's just a very, very light shadow. And I'll, I'll pull up and see if you can see it a little bit better. Notice this shadow? Well, that means something. And if we look at it from straight on, these are not on the work plane. These, these small ones are sitting above the work plane. So what's happening is it, I'm not getting that first layer adhesion. And however, it is going down. And then what happens is when it builds up, um, the, the head actually ends up, the hot end ends up hitting these, knocking these around and just making a stringy mess out of all of this. So I spent two days, a ton of plastic, uh, because my model is not, the, all the pieces are not sitting on the bed. And I've never gone in to look at this because, uh, again, I just, um, because this is actually simply a top version of this, which I cut off and, and moved down here. And you probably saw some of the build pieces as, as we went into this. However, again, I just simply, you know, looked at it. And, you know, you look at it, it looks good. It looks like everything's sitting on there. And I really don't get the the fact that it's, it's above the bed. Um, so th this is part of the problem. So this is what I'm trying, you know looking at and just kind of dawned on me. So I've got the sizes here um, and positionings. So what I have to do is lower these down to, to the bed. So I want to put the uh, the well ruler here. I've already got, I guess I got the ruler. And so basically I am one, I believe I'm 1.15 millimeters above the bed. So if I go here and I put zero, see how that sets that down? So basically I have now have to change this model. And, and then again, you can kind of see here now, you see the space that we have here and then this one is sitting directly down. So again, um, this is 1.15 above, so we do zero. Um, 
I'm not sure if I can I can select multiples and do the same thing and lower them down onto the bed so this is this is um, at least going to going to be added to my workflow as sort of a sanity check when I'm doing pieces like this is again just by eyeballing it um, it was very clear that that this did not work so okay all these are set and now I bet you if I print this out I will no longer have the same problem as I was having before um, which is great because I mean this this was very frustrating and again if we look at this head-on we see we no longer have this problem I want to go ahead and just just doubly save this to make sure so anyways I, I think this was a good Tinkercad workflow is understand where your piece is in reference to the bed because it will go ahead and attempt to print it in midair and, and I mean that's what was happening with this and the plastic was falling down but it was not adhering to the print surface and therefore later once it started to build these up the, the head would hit or pull they would come up off the bed and then start just stringing plastic all around rather than um, you know, uh, you know, putting it down where it was supposed to be. So anyways, hopefully this video helped in, um, you know, potentially if you've had the same problem or to help you avoid this problem, um, you know, double check that uh, all parts are placed on the work surface before you send it to print. And if you do appear to be having bed adhesion problems, uh, one of the first things to go and check is, again, whether you created the model uh, or somebody else did, you know, double check that it's actually sitting on the bed and, and it's actually on the bed and not slightly above so again if this helped you out give you a thumbs up stay tuned to the channel a lot more coming cheers